Sister to Sister, Aboriginal artwork by Aboriginal women from across the state. It's a very important exhibition that's bringing women and women's issues and women's empowerment to the fore. I was invited to do the traditional welcome to Noongar country as a traditional custodian and elder of the Wajak Baladong Noongar people, um, of who I am a descendant. I think that we need to be working together. This particular project highlights how people can work together in different ways right across Australia, right across the world for that matter, but here today it's us sisters who are uh, on show and who are um, showing off artwork and I'd like to compliment all the ladies who have um, provided beautiful artwork. So it's putting on display the ancient culture and traditional ways of the Aboriginal people right across Australia. It's very special because it gives Aboriginal women and all women the opportunity to be showcased their creativity. Have that belief in your own confidence and use the skills to be able to you can become anything you want to be. It's basically a selection of diverse works by Aboriginal women in WA and it celebrates the diversity of their practice. So you can see a lot of different styles of works in the exhibition, ranging from traditional works such as Queenie Mackenzie's here behind me, which she uses ochre, to more contemporary work made out of glitter. So it celebrates the diversity of the style, but it also celebrates the diversity of the women themselves, what they do in their communities, their mothers, their sisters, their daughters, and a lot of them have a range of careers outside of their art practice, spanning from government work, working in for-profit for agencies, or instilling change within their communities. So they're leaders as well, as well as being makers and shakers and movers of change. So there, I co-curated it with my colleague, Annie Bev Rebic. She's a Smith from down south, a Noongar woman. So we selected a, a few out of our collection. So the Department of Local Government Sport and Cultural Industries collection. We also borrowed a few from the Janet Holmes Court collection just to show a bit more diversity in the works. So we, we selected them on basis of the artists, the regions. So we have regions from the Kimberley, Pilbara, the Nanajara lands, and here on Noongar country as well. So that yeah, that, that informed the selections. We went back to the art centres where the artists painted if they've passed to gather more information and consult with the community to include the works. Or we went straight to the artists and kind of got their view on the works now from a position of in the present. I think that they inspire every Australian, every Western Australian, uh, women, woman or man. I think that these ladies have a lot of story to tell. They don't often tell their stories or their stories aren't heard. So yeah, just thank you to them for painting and, and sharing their stories with us. This is a collaboration between the ABC, the Department of Local Government, Sport and Cultural Industries and also the Janet Holmes Court Collection. And why did the ABC see it important to get involved in this exhibition? Well, this is the second year we've had an exhibition of this kind. I think it's really important to have Aboriginal art around you when you're working. It's a really welcome, it's a welcome to country, it's a welcome to the building and we're really privileged that we've been allowed to display these works. The Department of Local Government, Sport and Cultural Industries is really keen to um, spread the culture as wide as possible. We get a lot of guests coming through this building and I think they just see it's another way to get this artwork out there and on display. People would know Laurel Nanup's work from that huge sculpture that's in the Elizabeth Quay. Well, we've got the Marquette of that and also a linotype drawing. Um, Mum did this artwork at the Australian Print Workshop in Melbourne. Yeah, that was the 400 year commemoration of the Dutch coming to Australia. Uh, I think it's really important that we actually don't forget the elders whilst we're remembering the young kids. Uh, I think the elders are the ones leading the way and I hope that they will be the ones that return to those young girls coming through and get them to step up as well. And I think it's just a, a really important thing to celebrate women. We, we often um, place the men in high esteem and then we forget the women as they come through. I'd like to say to them, Whatever you want to do, don't be afraid to stand up and do it. If you fail, get up and keep walking and do it again and start again. 
Angela Albuquerque for Undercurrent.